Can I put the sticker on my car now? Yes, fine. Put the sticker on the car. Um, fewer questions, we've got like a bunch more. So here we go. Uh, what calorie intake did you need daily on the trail? I don't think we ever calculated it. We never did. I would uh, estimating from what other people have said, I think it's about around 3,000. I think it's closer to four. I just think we ate when we were hungry and we still lost tons of weight. Yeah. So crazy. Well, I did. She didn't. Did you pre-bulk the food and put some reserves in prior to the trail? Like, that? did you try to gain weight before we started? Not, not really. No, not really. I didn't try to gain weight, but I just didn't do my typical post-Christmas purge because I was like, I'm about to hike the PCT and that's going to take care of itself. And that's so. a really good idea. Like, bulk up around Christmas? Well, I think, I feel like everyone does. I just didn't do my yeah. post-Christmas thing. Um, what was your weight loss despite your calorie intake? Nothing. I didn't lose anything or gain anything. I she stayed, had nothing to lose. I stayed exactly the same. I lost like 20 pounds. Um, was there ever a time when you thought you would give up? Yes. When did you think you would give up? Hat Creek Grim. That's when I thought yeah. I would give up. See, you were super determined on Hat Creek Grim. I was like on my phone looking at train schedules home. That was my worry is that you wanted to go home. Like I wanted to finish, but I was, if you wanted to go home, I would go home. It so. was so hot. It was so hot. It was, it was that heat wave yeah. that like almost broke us. And then like skipping, I think, and going into the Trinity Alps, that mm -hmm. was the move. And then Southern Washington, I wanted to go home, but I wasn't going to because I was like, I'm so close. Why, why on earth would I go home now? Yeah. And then Central and Northern Washington got beautiful again. Mm -hmm. What happened to the lady hiker who was joined by her partner, Brock and QC? They finished the day after we did. Mm -hmm. We high fived them coming back. Yep. Did you meet any unsavory characters? If by unsavory, you mean like, did we ever feel unsafe? Did you ever meet someone that made you feel unsafe? Yes, I'm not gonna drop names. Don't drop names. But there um, was a guy who we were around, around Hat Creek Rim, who was kind of really sketchy and a raging alcoholic. Acted a little bit unstable. Yes. I never felt, I never felt scared or threatened I by him. I, I felt more worried for him. No, I felt uneasy, definitely. How did you? But then you knew I was there? Sure. The muscle? Yeah. I had it. Um, are you going to keep in touch with Dipper after the hike? He is a cool guy. I mean, what do you think? I'm, I don't know. What What do you think? We could. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Dipper, what do you think? We haven't really talked about it. Mm. I guess. Yeah. Um, did you meet any other YouTube people who have uploaded their hike? Did we? I feel like we did. Maybe we did. You know, it's, this sounds horrible because it sounds like people watch our channel and we didn't watch their channel. You can't watch other people's channels when you're hiking the PCT. There's like when I got time. into town, my phone was either charging or uploading a video. Like I couldn't look at it. You met video. Littlefoot and I'm pretty sure Littlefoot has a YouTube channel. Yep. And we were like 15 minutes away from meeting the Wander Women yeah. that we really wanted to meet. We were following them and we hit Snoqualmie Pass and they went into town and we didn't. And then we were past and we never got to meet them. I was bummed. Yeah. Um, plans for the future. AT, CDT? Yeah, I think I definitely want to do another trail. The idea of doing another trail is getting more and more appealing. The... Like the more distance, the more distance I put <laughs> in time between me and the PCT. Because one thing that's weird, something that we both noticed, is that there was a little bit of a trauma response to like reading my journals. Yeah, and or like, even like watching videos, watching videos or looking at pictures. Not that we didn't enjoy it; it was just a lot. And when you're not used to that much like stress, physical stress, and even like mental stress. Right now, going back to school and being stressed about school, I found myself missing it a lot um, because I just liked, like it was a lot of what I would call primal stress. Yeah. And not a lot of like- Like, are we gonna die in a fire? Are yeah. we gonna be buried in a snowdrift? What are we gonna eat tonight? Is it gonna be warm tonight? I don't know if I wanna do a huge 
American through hike. Our trails, our big trails are long, but I find myself wanting to do like uh, the Koenigsleden Trail in Sweden or like some of the West Highland, East Highland ways in Scotland, yeah. or there's a lot of like European hikes that I want to do. I definitely want to do those hikes. If I end up going to college on the East Coast. She can't go to college on the East Coast. I mean, I don't know who she's kidding. You that, miss me so much. That would make, that would make me uh, a lot closer to the AT and I would probably end up doing the AT at some point. And I would do a section with you for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, did your PCT pass come through for the day you wanted, or did you have to move start dates? We got April 12th. We wanted April 12th. April 12th was awesome. I loved April 12th. Yeah. It wasn't, there was still water in the desert. It wasn't crazy hot. And it was easy for us because no one was, like, there weren't very many people hiking our year. It was like, a I'm, quiet year. I'm looking at the PCT Facebook page for 2022, and it's like, I didn't get the permit on the date that I wanted, or, like, people not, aren't getting their permits at all. Dips is getting mad love from Mookie Bets right now. What was the cost in food for this hike? I have no idea. I don't think it was super more expensive than typical grocery shopping, mm -hmm. except you buy like nuts and stuff. What do you think? Do you think it was way more expensive? No, I don't think so because I you finally... go bougie. It's expensive. Yeah, you guys. These guys are bougie. <laughs> we fancy on Trey. We fancy. And you, like, you and your endless stuff. litany couscous. of couscous. couscous. So couscous many couscous, cheap. couscai, couscouses. Couscous. Many. Many couscous. Did the PCT live up to your expectations? I don't think there's any. I didn't think it lived. I didn't have expectations. I didn't have expectations. My expectations, I was like, what is this going to be? To be fully honest with you guys, and I don't know if I've said it, I didn't expect to finish. And I wasn't even very excited about doing it at first. Um, Mom and Razor were like, we should do this thing. And I'm like, eh, if you guys do it, I guess I'll do it. I, know. I probably won't finish. And like, I think that was actually to my benefit the whole time. For a long time, I think for pretty much the whole desert, I was thinking like, eh, I won't finish. I'll just do this fun, I'll just do this cool thing for a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll make it to Canada. Maybe I'll make it to Canada. Medals. And then you picked up like the flaming sword and you were like, onward. Yeah. Yeah. You became like the golden chalice person for sure. Tell you. Um, with the closures you had to navigate and the extra miles you had to do off trail to get to resupply, what was your total mileage covered? I think we're calling it 2,660. I think we at least did. I think our side missions make up for the closures. Yeah. We'll call it, we'll call I it think the whole we trail. actually calculated that like we missed around 110 mm. due to closures. And I think that we covered, I think we covered Easy. those 110. How many pairs of shoes? Five. Four. How many pairs of shoes do you go through? Duh. I was told there would be no man. A lot. <laughs> yeah, three or four? <laughs> Somewhere around there, I think four. Um, any emotions at the finish? One team said they didn't feel the emotions that they expected and the memories were not of the end, but of the journey. I like that. I think we talked about this, like, as we were approaching the end, because we almost felt bad. I've heard of so many people, like, sobbing their way to the finish because they didn't want it to be over. Mm -hmm. And I was... I loved the journey. I loved through hiking. I was super ready to be done yep. because I don't hate my real life. I yeah. love my real life and I missed my pets and my family and my yeah. house and sisters and I loved every minute of it and it was a perfect, it was wonderful. It was like we did it and now we get to go home. Win-win. The, the emotions at the end were going to be different because we weren't hitting Canada and it was, we only have seven miles until yeah. um, Manning Park. It was great. Now you have to hike back 30 miles. Have fun no. with that. Bye. I passed out. Yeah. <laughs> Face planted on a picnic table, baby. Um, we'll do one last one. How many times did you send a box and did you feel you should have sent more? We sent 12 boxes. I thought it was perfect. Yeah. Uh, we only sent a box to Kennedy Meadows because we already had axes we wanted to send them you don't have to send a box to kennedy meadows jackie has everything you need there yep. and you don't need to send a box to paradise valley but we wanted to send our micro spikes so you could easily do it in 11 or 10 i also feel like sierra city didn't necessarily need a box but sierra old city, station old would station have, needed a box and sierra city didn't if you want to save money send a box to sierra city yeah for sure for sure all right that's it i think we probably have one more round of these and we'll be done with your questions